Yo, what's up, it's your boy Dragon back with another tutorial. And today, we're gonna be showing y'all how to make YouTube thumbnails like Bruce Drop them out. So, with all that being said, let's get straight into the video. And if the video helps you out, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing you want to do in making this is go into Photoshop, go to File, New, and then you want to pick 1280 by 720. After this, you want to get your screenshot. So, I'm gonna go on Instagram and get mine right here. Just right click, copy the image, come over here and hit Control V. Then, what you want to do is make this image right here bigger. And make it around, uh, let's say, this size right here. All right, so what you want to do when you get right here is go to the pen tool by clicking P on your keyboard to cut this image out. So just uh, go all the way around like this right here. And I'm going to just speed up me cutting out so you can kind of get an idea on how to do it. But just go around the whole image and cut out. And once I get done, I'll be back with you all. <laughs> All right, so once you're done cutting out your image, right click, make selection, then go to hit OK when you get to that, and just go over here and make sure you click on this mask. So now that you clicked on this mask, what you want to do is kind of go inside of here, hit pin your keyboard, and just cut out these little uh, spots like this right here. So just come around like that on every little spot you see, and then right click, make selection, OK. Then go to G on your keyboard to go to the paint bucket tool. Make sure the color is black. So yeah, just click inside of there. With Once you have it cut out, just click inside of there with a black color. I just went to the paint bucket tool and did that. And you just want to do this on every little spot. So I'll do that and be back with y'all. All right, so now that you're done with that, just hit Control J on this image right here. Go click on this mask, then right click the layer, uh, delete the layer mask, and then go back onto this main image. Go to filter and then go to camera raw filter. What we'll do is just go over here add noise reduction to the image and then you want to add a little sharpening to it right so just add a lot of noise reduction a little sharpening that way you can get a smooth image and if you toggle the visibility tab you will see the difference in the image you see how smooth it gets when we add that so you just want to add this as much as you will need to add then hit ok to put on the changes and you definitely can see a difference between the images so now that you have that right there you also can add this to the um background if you want to by just applying it like that so you can see but now that we have this next thing we want to do is go to brightness and contrast create a clip mask and then add some brightness to this image on the top and also we want to go to brightness and contrast again and add some contrast over the entire image and also add some vibrance and saturation on the entire image so now that we have this I'll let you all know the next thing we're going to do. Alright, so now we want to do is just hit Control J once again on this image back here. And then make it bigger. Sort of like this right here. So, now we made that bigger. What we can do is just go back here. Put this on a uh, soft light. Then go create a new layer. Hit G on our keyboard. And go to the paint bucket tool. Make sure the color is black. Then select this back here. And now, now what I would do is go to the color orange by hitting B on my keyboard. Going down here to the color picker. Going to the... Uh, brush like I just did pick this color and what you want to do is just go in between the black layer and this layer right here that we just added and you just want to tap with this right here I kind of do like some subtle taps with it like this and then go to this right here and just go to filter blur add some Gaussian blur to it and also what you want to do is go over in the entire image like you uh, see me doing and just put it on color for the color of the image so you can do something like this and just make slice some little taps around the image so when I get done with that I'll be better with y'all alright so now what I'm gonna do is go on this image right here go to inner shadow and add some inner shadow so I just lower the distance like this right here and then up the size on it and then up the opacity on linear dodge right here make sure the uh, blending mode is on linear dodge add and just make sure you have like a little subtle uh, inner glow like that. And then what you want to do is add another layer, hold Alt to get the color that you see right here. And then click with those colors and put this on linear dodge also. After that, you want to click on this right here like um, to put a clip mask in between. So I just added a layer in between those. And you just want to click with those colors also and put it onto the image and put that on linear dodge add too. And you may want to add some brightness and contrast to the image behind to make it pop a little more. 
All right, so the next thing I did was basically look up the eye show speed lip challenge, and this is just an image I'm gonna add onto the thumbnail. So you can just get whatever image you wanna add, but I'ma just get this. So right click, copy your image, bring it on here, then hit Control V, and we'll wait for that for a little bit. Now what we wanna do is just create a box shape. So we'll go up here to the rectangular mark you tool, create a new layer, um, make like a box, and you can actually hold shift if you wanna make a perfect box. And you just hold shift and make it bigger and you can have something like this right here hit G on your keyboards and you should have like a color you can just click with so after that we'll right click this create a clipping mask to put speed inside of the box like this right here and just make it about well I say that size right there whatever whatever image you want to put in it all right, so to make the stroke, the only thing I'm gonna do is just hit Control J on this right here, and put this below, and then just make it bigger, and then center it. Now, like I said, that might be confusing, so I'm gonna show you an alternative, but this is just how I'm gonna make my stroke. I'm gonna just find a correct size for it, make sure everything is centered, then just hit Control U, and then mess with the lightness, and just have something like that but if you want to know the simple way to do the scroll you can just right click on that right there go to stroke and then make sure your position is on outside and then put your size to uh, around 10 then add look a, a cooler drop shadow to it and that's just a simple way to do the scroll but you can have something like that I'm probably keep it simple so y'all can just follow along with what I'm doing but now what I'm gonna do is go look up the ready symbol so I'll be back with y'all all right, so once you get on Google and you find a Reddit, lo Reddit logo, just right click, or you can save the image if you want it to be PNG, but I just right click, uh, copy my image, then hit Control V. And what you want to do when you get in here is go to the Magic One tool and click on these four sides. And I'm just holding Shift and clicking to uh, hit Control X on all of them and clear out everything. But yeah, just do that. Now that you're done with this, just hit Control J on it if you want to. Make sure you have an extra. And make this smaller and you want to put these on each side or both sides of the image so i'm gonna put one right here and i'm just rotating it making it smaller with the move tool whatever you want to call it and i'm gonna hold control to kind of uh make it go out like that right there so hold control and drag in with that to make it go out so we'll have something like this after this what we want to do is double click onto uh that image go to gradient overlay then put this on overlay and you want to go to the basic gradients you want to get the black and white gradient and make sure the opacity is all the way up and you can see the difference when you put it on and when you don't have it on so we'll do that along with an inner shadow on linear dodge add to give it that little glow effect inside and then we'll add a drop shadow to it lower the distance then mess with the size and you also can mess with the spread a little bit but just make sure you get some good size on it and some good distance on it and up the opacity after that you just want to hit Control j on this to duplicate the layer kind of uh rotate a little bit down here so you can have like two logos and now that you got that i'll figure out whatever we need to add to the image all right so now that you got all this we can just add some brightness to the image that you put inside the box and basically what i did was just change the color of my background a little bit to make it pop more but now that you have everything, if you want to blur the image on the back a little bit more, you can. So just go to filter, blur, then select guys and blur. We can blur that a little bit more. But we're basically done with the thumbnail. So now what we want to do is just go to the top layer, hold shift, and click on the bottom layer, then group everything, then hit control J, and then hit control E. Hit M on your keyboard to go to the mark you tool and drag this across the screen. Hit Control J once more and right click and convert that to a smart object. After this, I'll go on the camera off filter and I will probably add a preset and just show you all so you can make your thumbnail look good. So just come in here. I'll select my preset that I use, which is number 57. And basically what I add on here and you can see like this is the main stuff that changed it up a lot. So just mess with the contrast, the shadows, texture, vibrance, all that good stuff. You don't really have to worry about your curve or your sharpening, really, because we already did that. But color grading, um, this right here is what uh, does a lot to the image. So, yeah, just make sure you mess with the basics, though, because I know a lot of you all watching this probably the first time making a thumbnail like this. So, 
just make with the base uh basics and that's pretty much it so we'll just hit okay on that and after what i want to do is just go to topaz adjust five add some of this just a little bit though don't want to add too much never want to add too much so we'll just do this right here hit apply then go to filter camera filter again and once we get back in camera filter what we want to do is go back to detail add more noise reduction to the image but also add more sharpening so the image will look smooth but it will still look kind of like it has some texture in it so once you did that just hit okay and you definitely will see a big difference from the thumbnail that you left with before you add the camera off filter and after you add the camera off filter so last thing you can do is just go ahead be on your keyboard go to the brush click around with the image and if some of you wondering because i know i ain't showed this in my video if you wondering if your brush might be thick just make sure you turn your hardness to zero percent and yeah we'll just set this to linear dodge add put about right there go to file export and then export as and we'll just click export on this and i'll just name this bruce like two and it's pretty much how i made a thumbnail if you enjoyed it make sure you drop a like subscribe and we'll drag and peace out